if you need to find the connection string for your Superbase database, uh, come to the main page of your database or one of the table views. And if you look up at the top, there's this connect button. And if you click that, that's going to open up your direct connection string right here. And if you expand this, you can see the parameters, sometimes what you're connecting to wants these individually. But if it wants the entire connection string, it's right here. And just a friendly reminder to replace the your password part and square brackets here with your password. And if you don't remember what your password is, come over here to Project Settings and then click on Database under Configuration. And this is where you can reset your database password. Now, you're not going to be able to view your password ever. So uh, if you do need to do this, you'll have to reset it. That means anywhere else that you're connecting to this database from, you'll have to go there and reset the password there as well. If you have a table and you run into an error where you're needing a primary key, you can see here in this column, it's showing that this table has a column with a primary key, and that is the name column. If you don't have a primary key in your column, um, and I'll show you what that would look like. We'll take this off, so no primary key. If you don't have a primary key and you need to add one, um, first thing is you want to find the, you, you know, you want to pick the column that is uniquely used to define it. So name or ID or things like that are commonly the primary keys. You can click the drop down here, edit column. This pops up select is primary key and if you want to require each of those rows to be unique you can also click the is unique toggle here hit save and now we have the green key there so now we have a primary key in this column and a unique constraint on that column and if you're looking for an easy way to connect to Superbase, you can edit the data from something like a spreadsheet i highly recommend checking out WhaleSync. WhaleSync is a tool that makes it easy to directly connect Superbase database tables to Airtable or to Notion or to Google Sheets. And then any changes that happen in the Superbase tables will be reflected in Airtable or Notion. And any updates that you or your team or AI tool make in Airtable or Notion will be reflected back in Superbase. All of it happens automatically in the background. You don't have to set up a bunch of triggers. So definitely, if you're looking at connecting Superbase to other tools so you can make it easier to work with the data or easier for your team or for AI tools to work with the data, I highly recommend checking out WhaleSync.